Good morning, everyone. I'm Alyssa. I'm a kindergarten teacher here in Beijing, China, and today I get to tell you a little bit about what I do. We are currently heading to school in a tuk tuk. Check out the massive scarf. It's actually not that cold today, um, but Beijing does get super cold in the winter. So normally we bike to school, but today we、uh, we're taking a little tuk tuk. Classroom. So we start with this is where the IE comes in to serve us the food. We have our instruments. We have our like sciencey toys like puzzles and stuff and kaleidoscopes, all of our other toys, and then drawing things, art class projects, some cute stuffed animals, and then our reading corner. What day of the week is it? Wow. What date is it? What month is it? January. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, school is over with, and I'm about to head out with some friends. We're going to a cool market. We're probably gonna take the subway. We're probably gonna get bubble tea, and then we're gonna get like a ton of food in a really cool market. So I'm excited to show you. We work in Taiyongong, which is one of the like suburbs of Beijing, you would say, and it's kind of fancy, but it's pretty bougie.、Uh -huh. It's nice because then you know the parents that like send your kids to the school kind of like, really care about them. Each like neighborhood has a kindergarten.、Uh, I would say that I see that kindergartens everywhere,、um, and then there's lots of public. These are one of the many bikes that you can take. They're just anywhere on the street. Like look, there's so many of them. There's blue, yellow, any color, and you can just scan them like a QR code, and then you go. Transportation in general is super cheap in the city. Buses are like two or three kwai, which is what like. You would say like as if like two or three bucks,、um, and then like the bikes I just showed you. The more expensive option for transportation is Didi, which is an app that calls cabs for you, kind of like Uber or Lyft.、Um, but even that ends up being a lot cheaper, considering the base price is so much lower than it is in America. The last form of transportation that we can talk about is, of course, the subway, which we're on now. It's super cheap as well, either three to five kwai.、Um, I've actually never seen it go over five kwai, even when I've taken an hour and a half of a subway ride. So, all right, we're at the Sanyuan Li Market. This market has like fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, just lots of、uh, items. It's really easy to buy from, and they have tons of vendors just set up in one area. Also have tons of imported food, which is really nice to come here to get imported food. In case you're worried about that, I got a lot of questions the last time I did a takeover about where to buy imported food, where to get food you're comfortable with as you adjust to like life. So we're gonna go and explore, and I'm gonna do my grocery shopping, and also I'm gonna show you how I can use bags and containers to make my waist a lot smaller. Because in China, that's a really big concern that I also had. So it is January, the end of January, and it's about to be Chinese New Year, which starts on February fourth. So there's this massive, beautiful market in the middle of a mall that I'm in right now. I'm going to have some tea. Look at private schools around too. So it's there's so many jobs to get here. Or one to two kwai an hour that you can bike anywhere on them. So Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year is one of the two big holidays that we get off in China. We get one week in October and then one week in February. It's really nice because you get a chance to go on vacation. It's usually paid for by your school. 
I'm going to Busan in South Korea. Some people are going to Cambodia. It's just a really great opportunity for us to travel while we're over here, which is one of the main reasons why we moved here. Depending on what kind of school you get hired with, you'll have different times off. Some like high schools or colleges, they have the entire summers off and paid. Some are training schools, which means you work from like 2 to 9 p.m. and you don't have a lot of time off. Our kindergarten, we get a decent amount of time off, but it's still not as much as like working for a college or university home with my groceries so I thought it's time for a little kitchen tour. I've got the stuff I bought today. Um, still rinsing some of my lettuce. We have a microwave and we actually have a fridge in our kitchen which is really cool. We don't have an oven that's pretty typical of Asia but we do just have a stove top, stove top. I live in a one bedroom apartment and it's really actually quite big. Um, the only thing that I don't love is the bathroom. So in Asia, the bathrooms are called wet rooms. They're just a room with a shower head and a toilet and a washer. Um, and then you don't have dryers here. You just gotta use a drying rack. I honestly don't mind the wet room as much as I thought I was going to, even though it is like the one thing that I would change <laughs> if I could. Um, we also have like a pretty nice bedroom. So our apartment is furnished and it honestly came with basically everything we needed. The only thing we bought uh, right away was this filter just to make sure that the air in here is great. And then we also got curtains because the sun rises super early. Okay, so now we're home and it's 9 p.m. So I'm going to write some lesson plans before I head to bed. It's just something that my school has us do a little certain schools you'll need to write a lesson plan every single day some schools you'll never have to write a lesson plan it really depends on what that school is asking of you when i was coming and looking to china and looking for jobs and looking at answers i felt like there was no baseline and i still feel like that's true but i don't think it's a bad thing anymore every single day there's something new and exciting um, when i went to the market today there was a ton of new fruit that i'd never tried when I go outside, there's new street food or new street food vendors or new people to meet. And then, like I mentioned earlier about being able to travel, I get to go to new countries to see different things. One of my coworkers just got back from Cambodia, got back from Laos. Someone got back from Taiwan. There's just so many places that I want to go. If you have any questions about China, teaching in China, getting a visa in China, because that's really complicated, um, I'm more than happy to answer your questions on that. I've been here for a year. Okay, all my lesson planning is done and I'm ready to head to bed to start all of this over again. All right guys, we've got this. It's almost the weekend.